hey guys welcome back in this video what we will cover uh, we have created different content fragment models like uh, book author editors right in this video what we will see we will create a request which will have more than one content fragment model and we will get the response so basically what we are going to achieve we are make, uh, merging the requests so that we can have just one single request and then we can get response of different uh, models okay let's see what i'm talking about so let me delete it this one i will create and if i'll just do control space it will tell me i have these content fragment models so maybe i will use the book list and i will just get items i'll get more data maybe title and ispn and if I run this query, I am getting the data. So I have the list of books available. Now I have another query where let me just delete it. This one and I have another model, maybe authors list. And again, I want to get items. And then within items, I want to get maybe profile data. If I run it. I'm getting the profile information now or maybe within the profile information uh, I want to just get maybe JSON data or content yeah maybe I just want to print the JSON now what if I want uh, a <clears throat> within this I, mean, I just want to have one request but i want to merge this data with this response with the book response i received uh, earlier what i can do i have this author list and i can add book list as well here only and items and maybe i want to have title and isb number authors too okay and uh, maybe here i just not profile but something which is short uh, <clears throat> maybe author name okay so i have author list and i have book list let's run this query and if we see this we are getting author list and we are getting book list so we are getting uh, the item author name it's printed here and the, in the book list i am printing title isbn and the author details so this is the unique feature of using graphql now i am merging two requests and then making it a sing, single one and uh, i am getting the res merged response even if we just see in the browser's network call in if i trigger it and this is my endpoint.json it's just let me just expand it and this is the payload right so this is my query <clears throat> and this is the response so i'm just having one with one endpoint and this payload i'm getting the response so that's it in this video and stay connected